Well, hello and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today, 17275. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure to ring that bell for all my latest videos. That said, this is B Team. And we've already done King's Row. So I cleared this uh, right after reset. So wanted to get it out of the way. And of course, we've done Total War now. We will talk about this later, but let's get through all the basic stuff first. We have, of course, done our 20 dragons. This is Portal, so we got five tickets for tomorrow. We're saving up for Hero Seal Day. Astrology Day. Oh. So close, so close. I forgot to do Astrology. And we got 65,000. That's actually low for Rune Seals, but that's fine. What was I going to look at? Well, first, let's get the hero purchasing out of the way, and then we'll talk about... Uh, you know, honestly, it was so long ago, I forgot what I did, but I'm pretty sure I, I basically, well, we'll talk about it when we get there. Let's focus on this. That said, how are you doing in the game? I hope everything is going well for you. I am getting impatient for an update. I keep hoping that there will be one. I will never give up hope, because, you know, what Futurama taught me is you can't give up hope, even if it seems hopeless. you got to hope even more. So I'm going to hope on the hopium, that we will get the update and i hope you're hoping with me because this is a good game and they should i mean there's so many things they could do to make it an even better game all right so and this we got 120 so these are 98 levels from yesterday and what was the other the, okay so we need to talk about uh no we do not need it you saw what i was going to talk about but we're not talking about it yet we're going to work on Vincent's runes, and I'm going to kind of say that, yes. All right, four-star legendary. I'm going to just be up front. I am disappointed with what I've seen from Vincent. Granted, I don't know what I expected, because now that I've sat down and I've done the math, um, the, about the best I could expect is probably... A little over doubling his damage without investing in artifacts, so I don't know why I'm surprised by this. Perhaps you can call me a fool in the comments. I don't know. Um, so, so the end result is, to me, was it worth it? And to me, the answer is uh, pretty much no. Like... It's not bad in the sense that, like, I feel like I will eventually make him a set of gear, so we're basically ahead of the curve on that. However, did we do need to do it right now? Probably not. But it's one of those it's one of those catch twenty twos, right? If we didn't do it, if we didn't conduct the experiment, would I even have known? You know, and I'll and I'll explain how I came to this conclusion, and we can look at some stuff after. Now, of course, we're still gonna finish. I'm not gonna like abandon him like halfway. That's silly. Um, actually, I mean, you can look at it in two ways. The fact that I have already said it's probably going to be worthless, and I'm not abandoning him, you can accuse me of the sunk cost fallacy. That basically says that, like, even though I've recognized that the input isn't worth it, I continue anyways because of how much work I put in. That's really not the concept I'm operating under, though. For me, it's more or less that it's not a sunk cost, it's just that I would like to eventually explore having Vincent with a set of artifacts, and if we, when we do that, we would need to do this anyways, so this is just kind of getting ahead. This is only, to me, really a loss if we got an update out tomorrow, and then we had, you know, more rune seal levels, but even then, like, is it really a loss? I would say yes and no. It's going to delay me getting Christian and Marion up, sure, if I... In, Compared to just like hoarding the runes, but did we have a good time doing it? I would hope the answer. I would hope you would say yes, because I'm saying yes. I think it was worthwhile to look at from from a from a testing standpoint. Okay, so now let me go back to Vincent and let me point out why I should have known from the beginning that this was just not going to do anything. I believe he started with one point six or one point. Um, it was either 1.6 or 1.7 million attack. So with all that, we've only added about 300k attack. Now, when you are when you add artifacts into the mix, it's a lot more impactful. Same with going to plus 12, etc. 
but I mean, let's say it was we've added 300k to his attack. How much of a buff is that really? Well, we'll, we'll even go, we'll even be more generous, right? We'll say it's 350k. So his attack before this was uh, 350k um, less, which would be, I think it was like 1.588. I mean, I'm not looking for exact numbers here, but I'm going to just do some math real quick to kind of explain why this isn't worth it. So we're going to take 1907 minus 350. 15, uh, 15, I, why did I do that? It's 1557. 350 divided by 1557 is his attack has gone up. Oh, wait, that's not what I meant. Oh, geez. 19, should be 1907 divided by 1557, and we have increased his attack by about 22%. I mean, I could have done it the other way. It's whatever. We'll round up and say we increased his attack by 25%. His crit damage was about 20k. We basically doubled that. We can actually ignore the calculation of, um, uh, crit damage resist for this. Our absolute best... Well, we can't really ignore it. It's sort of weird how that works because... The higher crit damage of, of resist of the monsters does actually change this multiplier significantly. So let me give you an example. If everything had 12k... Or, no, no, sorry. 10, he had 20k crit damage. If everything has 10k crit damage resist, he basically had... 10k crit damage okay if we increase that by roughly we're just going to round up to 40k so if we increase that by 20k we have basically tripled his crits okay because it used to be 10k now it's 40k minus 10 which is 30k so 10 the difference between 10 and 30 is three times so we would we have increased it by and then we take it a quarter of that because we increased his attack by a quarter so when you multiply all that together, you get a very small number of 3.75. There is no way, and that, that to me is the best case scenario, because I do not believe the monsters actually have 10k crit damage resist. I think that's absurd. So to me, the quote-unquote best case scenario for Vincent is we increased his damage by almost four times, 3.75 to be exact. And that's with, that's with a lot of really generous rounding up. And as we've seen, like, it's more likely he's, his damage has about doubled. Um, which means that the boss, the monsters have lower crit damage resist, etc. So, again, like, even if we 4x his damage, his damage was 1%. And it was a bare, it was, I think it was barely 1%. And I think it was about 400 billion. The best we could expect from all this investment, assuming the, the, the 4x multiplier, would be for him to do 1.6 trillion. And, of course, we've seen the stats. He's not doing anywhere near that. He is getting close to, like, 800 billion, and that's it. So, regardless, like, it, this, is, this is just not working. So, no matter how you slice it, without investing in artifacts, it doesn't matter what you do with your runes anymore. It's not going to be enough of a difference. So... That's my lesson to you. Of course, we, like I said, are we going to finish Vincent's runes? I mean, we have come this far to reach a conclusion I should have done at the onset by a calculation, but that's okay. So we will finish because really I only have two runes left. I got this rune and that rune and then we're done. I mean, I, and I, I will, of course, will, uh, I will get this to plus nine, get this to plus nine. Unlock that one and just refine it. So we have a little bit left to go. But again, and again, this is only worth it in the context of do I want to eventually give artifacts to Vincent? The answer is yes. So this isn't a bad investment. The alternative is me going to Marion and Christian and just working on getting this artifact to plus 12, which maybe we'll do now. I really don't know. Um, we'll have to see because I'm going to actually save that up. Now we're going to, we're going to save up rune seals after we finish Vincent and we'll just see how many we have. And when we have like a ton of rune seals saved up, um, I think I need to, I think I made a calculation of how many I need to save, which was, um, if we come in here. Yeah, it's 280,000 for the next rank that we'll never unlock. 
because we'll never get to stage 1 million. And it goes up 10,000 each level. So unless they dramatically change this, it's going to be this times 5 plus 4,000. So as long as we have like 1.5 million rune seals, I will always have enough rune seals to unlock everything at the, when the patch comes. Obviously, I won't be able to do it right away because we'll have to push stages and things like that. And then there's a question of, oh, if you do that, then, you know, you kind of wasted it because obviously unlocking more tiers makes it easier to get the, um, the five-star mythic runes because now there's a new set of runes. You're going to be able to summon five-star five mythic runes directly. So there's that kind of thing to take in consideration. Um... Again, we're, we're just going to save up. I want to have at least 1.5 million. Um, and, and even still, it's unlikely that that number is going to matter because here's, here's realistically how it would play out. And actually, I need less than that because I already have 280k here. This is already done. So I can throw away 280k. So that really puts it down to like 1.1 million. We'll just round up to like 1.2. But here's the reality. Is that... Even with that, with those generous estimates, I still have to get to stage 22,000 to unlock everything. So while I was moving up there, I would just be saving up rune seals anyways. You know? I would only really be summoning runes once we got... Oh, this is... Okay, so he, he has to do this rune too. Alright. Sorry, there's, there's three more runes. So I wouldn't even, even at 18,000, this would be 18,000, I wouldn't do anything. 19,000, I could look at then maxing these runes for both Sophia, Christian, and Marion. Uh, 20,000 would be working on the whatever is beyond Mythic. You can't see it because it's after this. And then, um, we, then it would be, well, the three after Mythic, which would be similar to this. So the three mythic plus runes would be after this. So so we'll just we'll just pretend, right? Pretend this three star legendary is actually three star mythic. So this is eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand, twenty thousand, twenty one thousand, twenty two thousand. And again, we would have this one to summon these last ones over here, and I would assume they would end it probably the same way with a crit damage and an attack. Honestly, if I was the developers. I could see them almost copying and pasting the mythic runes. Because you got four good runes, and two of them are on the end where it's very expensive to summon. And you got a crappy one right here. That's your three star rune that you ran out of with tons with. Okay, as you can see. So maybe switch these around a little bit. But I can't imagine that they. I mean, it's either going to be that. Or what they're going to do is steal, like, this template and just reuse this. Also not a bad one, because, again, you have crit damage, attack, a, a empty rune at three star, crit damage, attack. The big thing is you want to have two big boy runes at the end here. You know, if they wanted to go absolutely crazy, this would be a junk rune, and it would be, it would be attack and crit damage on the same line, but I don't think they'd ever do that. I can't see them using the epic one because this would be too easy to get. Same with this one, too easy to get this one. This one has possibility because it's crit damage, crit damage, attack. So, you know, you actually have three good ones. But this being good too means that you would, that summoning this wouldn't be bad. But again, they have a bunch of different, are they just make up a new one? But they, the, regardless, my point is they have a bunch of different designs to use. Now we're going to switch over to Total War because obviously you're looking at Christian and you're like, what the hell happened? And I'm going to tell you what the hell happened. Uh, I did my sweeps today. I didn't get enough stuff. And so I was like, you know what? Let me enhance these two and these two. And I think I got crit damage here. We're going to look. We did. He did get more crit damage because he was at 86,000 uh, flat before. And he's actually getting closer to 22 million. Maybe, I mean, if this keeps happening, he's going to get 22 million attack. Just the facts. Now, as you can see over here. Oh, okay, I did get some rings. And I did, okay, and that's ignore defense penetration. And I do believe I did awaken this orb and it was crit damage. 
It was actually a good awakening, and I was I was disappointed that I had to do it off stream. I mean, off video. Um, but again, the problem is, for whatever reason, we're just not getting anything good. So due to that, I've been upgrading Christian. You know, honestly, are these already okay? That's woke up. That's woke up. Okay. So we might be investing more in Christian because I'm getting I'm getting a little frustrated. Like we need to save one of these. We're gonna save three rings for Christian. I mean, not really frustrated, but just disappointing. Disappointing is probably the better way to put it. Because I I have I I don't mind investing in Christian's artifacts. I mean, I was kind of planning on that anyways. So it's like, oh well. The die has kind of been cast for me, I guess. Oh, I do need to dismantle too. We might be, we might not need to because I'm, okay, well. We have 89, never mind. Let's see. Yeah, because I have nothing to awaken with this one. Nothing to awaken with this one. We'll be doing, we'll be starting with orbs tomorrow. But, you know, I'd rather do this while we're here. Might as well. Am I disappointed? I can't hide my disappointment here. I really can't. Oh, I can't do that either. I want to have... Well, no, no, I can't do that because they're, they're the same. We'll put one. And again, we want to save three orbs. I mean, I would just rather do this than rack up a bunch of... Um, A bunch of jewels. Maybe I'm doing the wrong choice, but the thing that everything has been so tight, I, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm making the wrong choice. Let me put it that way. And crit damage again, very nice. So we end up with 510, 510. Both of these are awoken. So I got, I've got nine levels to each one so far. And we'll dismantle that for an extra 4,500. So at least I have an empty storage going in tomorrow. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, if I get enough of this, I will have to wake the orb up again and try to feed it. That's uh, that's non-negotiable at this point. But I really don't know what else to do. I mean, I'm just not getting enough of these. Um, I might go hardcore and just, like, convert a bunch. I just figured, you know what, we'll work on Christian's runes. Oh. 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 Uh, we'll have to do Christian's runes. We'll get him one more so he can have his 22 million attack. I can't take that away from him. You know, I just can't. But looking at Marion, we're, we're going to go level Marion now. So this episode turned out to be a lot longer than I thought. But I wanted to talk about Vincent and how he, you know, I, I'll, I'll just say how he disappointed me. But it's not really Vincent's fault. It's more like the rune system disappointed me. But I shouldn't be surprised by the rune system disappointing me because of uh, what's changed. Come on, wakey, 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 wakey. This is so slow. I really hope that they're looking into this because this is like, this is unreal to me. This is really bad for the game. All right, let's level Marion up. She's almost getting 800 attack. Very nice. So, Marion actually has hit 18 million. She, I think she already hit 18 million? I don't remember. So, she's 18 million and almost 90k, and Christian is almost 22 million and 87k. So, they're getting closer and closer together. That said, once again, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. 
And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.